let's take a look here. Mm, it might be worth it. What do you think, Sway? Do you think it's worth having a backstop in a situation like this? This is 2000. I don't think we have to go that deep. I mean, yeah, I it, it depends. He's going to be dealing with the kind of people who employ people to look for things like that if he makes those kind of deals. If it's he. Not like, um... Yeah, it's not like cyberpunk security and technology here. Right. Oh, much harder yeah. There. Yeah, yeah, much harder there. He's going to have some bonuses, especially since he's on a uh, cyberpunk computer. So he will ah. have if he wants to do it because his computer goes open wide for Chunky. <laughs> <laughs> I would say like, um, what's the word I was going to use here, Jay? Uh, what is it like? Art and Antiquities, because mm -hmm. that would shuffle from uh, country to country. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he, he was into Art and Antiquities, or he finances. He's into finance in order to get more Art and Antiquities. Not to be <laughs> funny, but what do you actually have as a side skill, Jason, that you could actually talk to this about? Do you have any side skills like, you know, wine tasting or anything hoity-toity like that? Because you might meet one of these fuckers that has the same uh, wait, interest. Wait, I Why don't you well, just... It could just be business. I could just be known as someone who's been involved in a few big deals. You know, it's Why just someone who import? trades in big items. Right, but... Did we do <laughs> no, I know what uh, Swade's getting at. Uh, Swade, Swade kind of really, that'd be a very good thing there, especially if it was hard backstop, like why he's talking about Freddie, then let them come and do their fucking best research in the year 2000. So I can talk a lot about business in general. I can talk about uh, accounting, uh, finance. And so you're a massive nerd. Basically, talk, <laughs> yeah. Talk a lot about didgeridoos. Talk a lot of. Uh, I can speak fluently in Mandarin. I could have, you know, done like real estate there's, deals there's in stuff. China. There you go, China. Export. Yeah. Just, just be, just go exporting. Yeah, import, export, China. Pokemon, or what was it? Uh, Beanie Babies back then. Beanie Baby Importer. Uh, well, what you want to do is, yeah, I mean, no like that, a, a term a lot of people <laughs> like to use, uh, use a word like serial entrepreneur. That means he's been involved in a few different things. True. Although the import and exports from China is very, it's, it's yeah. still pretty Yeah, I like the China now. thing. Yeah. Just yeah, but if you're general import, export China, that right there tells everything. And plus, import export guys they are they they do a lot of shady stuff also so if you're looking to meet our shady people there we go there you go yeah a little white slavery on the side you know that kind of shit so hey, uh, told you we got we got yeah. shipping containers yeah. can move a lot yeah. Yeah. with, with one his, one yeah. yeah easy one or a hard one but keep in mind he has significant bonuses from monster computer yeah, let's go. For and the fact that I'm from the from the future as well, so I know more advanced stuff. Yeah, so, he's got he's got high end hacking shit on his yeah, right. Let's go for the backstop then. Right, Freddy, going for the hard one then. Yes. Yeah. Now, if you fuck this up, then it will create lasting bad things and whatnot. Uh, I know. Because once it's on the internet, somebody else has probably screen grabbed that fucker and taken it to somewhere else already. So it's going to be with with your going at half, then you're at a plus 20 for high end, uh, like a fantastically futuristic computer with matching software for hacking. And uh, you're thinking with this rig, Jesus, I could break into some fucking computer, but then you're getting into harder shit. You're like, yeah. I'll just have money transferred from other banks. Yeah. <laughs> but possible with this computer, you're thinking. So, so a motivated 16-year-old uh, could pull off? Um, uh -huh. Doesn't have any cards, anything. anything. You're I've got a reroll. So oh, maybe okay. don't, don't bother spending a bunch of cards yet. Yeah. Now, okay. First, before you roll that, though, give me a simple computer use 
at full, this is trying to get the two systems to talk to each other because Windows doesn't like to be backward compatible. Oh, oh yeah, you make it work. Shows him going to get well work. He's typing so hard and he's got multiple screens and he's hitting the enter key and he's wearing dark glasses, all the hacker shit. So now you're the grand total of negative 10 on your hacking. If only you can type fast enough. I can help. <laughs> ah, Three hands can do better than two. <laughs> More hands like standing over. over him eating Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> what does that red button do? <laughs> <laughs> So, Freddie, it's all You can do it, Freddie. I believe in you. Freddie works better over under pressure, right? I do. There There you go. There you go. So, write down, Jay, your ID is hard backstopped. Okay. And uh, just remind me of this little scene of Freddie using uh, fucking cyberpunk shit and all that in order to make your life complete. Um, no wife, no kids. Um, yeah, great, done. Uh, yeah, you're, you're, you've got, uh, I'm assuming you want a little bit of a possible shady background uh, where it's like, yeah, he's mysterious and possibly a little shady. Could be you, could even, you could even just throw in like a little uh, tidbit about possible investigation, you know. And, yeah, and it got dropped, you know, suddenly yeah. for unknown reasons. Yeah, yeah. Make it look like you bribed somebody, paid somebody off, and they dropped an investigation. Yeah, just the right amount of fucking shade. Just or, like from a newspaper. It doesn't even have to be police. Like, you know, reporter so-and-so yeah. before he uh, disappeared, and that's why they can't find any record on who this reporter is. There you go. <laughs> right. So yeah, you've got you've got just a, a bit of mystery and a bit of shade in your background. Uh, you think that you're ready for your big appearance? Dun dun dun! It's at this point where he go comes up, fumbles. Oh, I'm wrestling rad. I'm actually Australian, <laughs> I'm pretending to be Chinese. <laughs> yeah, but I'm really black. What? <laughs> <laughs> so um, now for the other two guys. Uh, Freddy, acting roll of plus 10, suede intimidation roll. The acting is to look nervous. I'm giving him a bonus for reasons. And suede and intimidation roll is you're playing the bodyguard. And if they can make their roles, that will feed into your acting role there. <laughs> oh, wow. I made it. Oh, shit. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You're you're at a grand total of plus twenty because you're uh in the right suit, the right people, right on, right on. Okay, so for the twenty, do I just type in twenty, Alex, or do I have to put plus type, twenty? No, type twenty, click out of the box, and then roll. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, half. Nice. No problem. Uh now give me the uh get rid of the modifier. Okay. And you totally look like you belong there. People are meeting. This, now, give me a, a fast talk roll. This is the meet and greet, charming, checking things out and all that. You know, meeting. This oh, is I want to. I want to like. I want to be that guy who's like, whispering in his ear and like, trying to help him with the, the past all kind of. Because I'm the. I'm not constantly that right. I'm yeah, that's a bit, uh, you're just supposed to look nervous and clutch your briefcase right now. I think. Oh, okay. Fine. Right. Oh, grabs him around the mouth and carries him up. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, you have many contacts that you are making right now. Uh, people all want to uh, 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 hang out with you. Women want to be with you. Uh, they think he must be rich as fuck. There's a lot of major flirting. Give me a little seduction roll for a little casual, hey, how you doing type thing here and there. Hey, how uh, are you doing? How you doing? Forget about oh, it. Oh, my God. All right, no problem. Yeah, uh, Swade is coming in like a fucking high roller. People are like, I don't know who that guy is, but he's buying a couple people drinks. And, oh, my God, is that the head of the uh, Deutsches Bank he's talking to? And he's over there going, mm -hmm. <laughs> the Deutsches Bank guy. He's like, oh, my God, where? Where have you been? You know, um, right. And give me a streetwise role. This is maybe you'll meet somebody who maybe has a bit of a stain on them type thing. This somebody is the important one. You know? This is yeah. the important one. This is what it's all been leading <laughs> up. Yeah, this is, this is where we need to find our Saul because we better call Saul. 
Yeah. Unfortunately, all you found is uh, really good uh, law-abiding people who want to do business with you and a few women who want to date you. All right. I'm going to play my re-roll. Ah. <laughs> Buy a quarter. Nice. Right. Um, you you uh, crack open Chicago like a walnut and then fuck it into submission. There you go. So... Um, yeah, right down, right down that you are uh, uh, super climatized in uh, Chicago. You've got a guy for a lot of things, and uh, let's see, by by a quarter, fuck yeah, um, right. And you've met your Saul. Nice. He is the consigliere of somebody else and stuff. Um, yeah, no problem. You've got you've got all kinds of contacts here. Um, whenever you want to start pumping money into the system or whatever, it's ready and to go. Hmm. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Joe, he says that and it shows a hand clap over his mouth. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you hired a separate guy just to do that. I'm only, just so you know, Logan, I'm only listening because I'm sure they don't talk either, but when one or two of them go out back, the thugs, for the smoke break, I go take a smoke break, come back in. Oh, no, they, they, stick with their, they stick with their guy all the time. It's the driver okay. of smoke breaks. It's, gotcha. Now, Freddie, Freddie could be a driver, but we all know what will happen when he gets into a big-ass limo for the first time. Listen, the negative listen. <laughs> I'm a good driver now. Right, right, but oh, as soon as you get into a limo, though, give you a negative on your driving, and you're expected to drive through the city of Chicago, mm. we know what will happen. You will be paying a lot of money for that limo. That's all right. My boss will cover it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. If you want to make Freddie into a driver at some point, you can probably do that. Yeah, I don't know what else you wanted to accomplish here, but uh, as long as you occasionally make appearances, like, you know, once every few months or whatever, because uh, with your cover of I uh, Do Business with China, you can be gone for long stretches of time, and it's totally plausible. Question, do we want to have Freddie make a couple cards so we can get back here? Is that something he can whip up a doodle of? Well, I can do that. You can definitely fucking whip yeah, up When all I'm doing doodle. my spill hoeing, I'll do all that. Okay. Uh, hmm. Where do we Thank want you, to uh, think about uh, good places to make them? Yeah, I was gonna say, if, you, if you owned a small home somewhere, uh, that would be the ideal place. But yeah, well, we need money for that. So right. I could uh, could rent a long term solution. We could even get a storage unit. Uh, we get a shipping container and a secured place. Um, could just rent an apartment and pay for it a uh, year in advance or uh, a few Ooh, months in advance. Running an apartment in Burbage, you could probably get something like an uh, hour outside of Chicago for, what, 600 bucks back in 2000? Nothing yeah. fancy or anything. You know, I understand that, but what about just like some of these landmarks that have been there yeah, for like, yeah, hundreds of years? I mean, you know. The problem That's is that if, if something changes, because uh, the the place trumps are very delicate. Yeah. For the people yeah. trumps, the way to fuck them up is like uh, I shape shift into a new form. Well, fuck, I can't reach him. Uh, but the place trumps. If somebody hangs up a wreath on something, then it might fuck you. Mm -hmm. thought, right? I <clears throat> so let, let me ask you: If you were to paint like a corner inside a large train station, you know where people don't normally walk. You know, they're unlikely to do construction. Could you paint like that corner and you would zone yeah. into that corner or would you zone somewhere in that room? Oh. On the train tracks. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, no, yeah. where, where, what, what's the smallest room you currently have a trump card of? Well, with, with all the places you're drawing, Freddie, you need stuff that makes it different from every yeah, other yeah. corner and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, that's um, why I chose the the park that had the, the little yeah, statue yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah, but if there's a lot of snow in there, then you won't be able to use that, for example. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. kind of unique statue or something like that should do the trick. 
if it's in the picture. Uh, you're, 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 well, the problem with uh, coming into a really populated place, if you do it like in a train station where people are in a hurry and, you know, fuck you, get out of my way, that's not a bad idea, actually. Uh, I'm sure you could find some place in there and, you know. Let's, right. have a walk, uh, let's have a walk around, see if we can brainstorm, get a cup yeah. of coffee, maybe uh, some Maccas. No, what about just, um, I know they might decorate it sometimes, but what about, uh, what's that big train station downtown? Grand uh, Union, is it? Yeah, or yeah, I think so. Union Station, yeah, it's just Union Station, Union yeah. Station, yeah, that would that would be probably ideal for the idea that uh, Rasslin had. They've got like a big clock. I, I have been there. They've got like a big clock yeah. up on the wall and stuff like that. Yeah, do, do you want me to do that, then? Rasslin? Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's grab one like that. All right. Yeah. I'll do All my right. right now. Okay. Nice about that is you get anywhere in the world or anywhere in the country from Union Station. Can you do a Trump of an object and pull the object through the trunk? No. No, that's a whole different power. Say which power that comes from there, Ralph. Uh, oh, the, uh, Logris? Uh -huh. Yeah, Shadow, because that's, that's where your sword comes from. You pull it from nothing, right? Or talk about items. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I learned a trick where I could put a sword in a little pocket. Oh, extra than oh, already has that one too. Yeah, that's 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 considered quote petty magic because it only works in some places. But um, yeah, if the players ever get a hold of enough logros powers, that'll be another way to defeat the money monster. Because then it's like I need some diamonds. Isn't that what Galif had did? Didn't he do like his tentacles? He had tentacles that would uh, Yeah. What if we go create a Trump uh, inside the uh, art museum? People are uh, drawing um, in there all the time. Hey, you couldn't use it twenty four hours a day, unlike uh, Union Station. Union yeah. Station is your is a really. Uh, well, good I just meant three. Plus, yeah, if three yeah, plus if uh, you guys suddenly appear in Union Station, nobody gets really excited, as opposed to the art place. <laughs> there, they make it super three. excited. I can do. Um, yeah, let me just do all my. Yeah. Still holding on this. Okay. Yeah, actually, I don't see a problem with having 10 Union Station cards or whatever. Well, I have to really so far. I have five more attempts, so let me just yeah. do them. Yeah. I'll just do it this way. It's easier for me. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, it's two more. He's making some really amazing artwork as well, I got to point out. Yeah, oh, Freddie, it seems that your consigliere there, Raslin, is uh, one of the, uh, uh, he's a very talented artist. <laughs> I mean, he's not up to uh, Rembrandt or any of that shit, but you can, he, shit looks like what he painted it like, yeah. Speaking of Rembrandt, why don't you paint one of those here where the uh, Rembrandt exhibit is? Ha, <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, with all the painting and stuff, it's it, it's always assumed that you'd be able to set up an easel and spend some time there painting without anybody getting excited. Like at the art museum. Yeah, you, you might be able to get away with it there, but. All right, I made right. five total. There you go. All right, so one for each of us. Lovely, lovely Let's see here. Oh, yeah, they, the only problem with having a Rembrandt is uh, getting getting the contacts to sell a Rembrandt at anything close to the right price and not getting a police thing and shit is the pain in the ass part. Mm, I wonder who would have contacts like that. Well, you've got a lot of finance and shipping contacts now. Mostly financial contacts is where you're at. Next but, step, Brad, yeah. is to go to China, make some contacts there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He can actually set up an actual business where he imports and exports from China, especially speaking. Is your Mandarin fluent? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he might actually get a real business and go, how did I end up here? And here, players like, <laughs> anybody want this business? It's too time consuming. <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, if you can if you can make the business and then have other people run it and it just generates money, right? Great. Ah, see, 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 Razzlin, sound familiar? Mm -hmm. All right, so there you go. You've cracked it open and uh, 
scooped out much of the goo inside me. Yeah. All that's left is print the money and away it go, really. Yeah, but uh, for getting the forgeries and stuff, you guys are going to have to uh, probably Spend build a lot. forgery. Well, no, you're going to have to build forgery skills also because the people, if if you're not if you're not doing like uh, stuff that's obvious, you're not making them uncomfortable by printing out what looks like advanced children's money. But if you're going more advanced than that, then they'll probably get uncomfortable. For the kind of forgery that you're talking about, you're going to end up buying a fucking printing press and pulling the uh, catch me if you can guy shit. So silly questions. So like with my craft metal skill and my forgery skills, that would come into play? It totally would. Yes. Or, Stuff and like my that. art lore and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. All right. Have you been working on these skills? I started with these skills. <laughs> Fine. Um <laughs> Go go look at my original character on the boards. I started with these. I was playing a second story uh, fence is what I started with. Got it. All right. So anyway, yeah, uh, there, there will be many roles and ink matching and paper getting and all that kind of shit. <clears throat> but yes. So okay. Rad, I guess the next step would be is to get some practice um, plates and resources where I can practice this every time I get a chance to go to the embassy. Well, actually, does it? What's that? Oh. 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 Well, it doesn't, uh... oh. well I was going to say, the funny thing is that the PCs at the embassy have been working on making various crafting places and stuff much, much more simplified. Like, this is used to craft metal. This is used for, you know, that kind. But they never really defined it. They just, I think they mostly have big empty spaces and a lot of ideas and dreams. Because right. uh, unlike what you guys have done now with all this, they didn't actually get it completely set up to where they detailed it and stuff, as far as I know. All right, Logan, so, I'm going to just throw this out there now. Mm -hmm. Anything, I, I will remember to do this, but I'm just throwing it out there now. Anything I attempt to do that is a failure or even a minor success, I will destroy beyond recognition. Oh, yeah. So you, I'm you not leaving get... it for other people to. Oh, yeah. A couple of big, you're going to want a big ass industrial shredder. But um, what I was going to say is if, if, you, if you're doing it in. Um, uh, the beastkin lands and shit like that, and you've got, you know, your own printing press and stuff mm -hmm. there. If if you can make electricity work, iffy, then uh, or or even if you get a if you guys finally ever get a place in cyberpunk or whatever, you can set up whatever kind of weird shit. Although Hong Kong is kind of iffy because the players have been laying that kicking that into the ocean lately. So, so what if we get a locomotive, a steam engine that just turns a DC motor, which will generate the electricity? See, we could do it. Yeah. There you go. There, there are ways, and there are ways. Yes, uh, uh, cleverness can overcome a lot of, of things. So, is there anything else you guys want to do in uh, the Windy City? Uh, Catch a Cubs game. <laughs> Watch the Jordan in his prime. Eat a hot dog. <laughs> Play Nero. I mean, there's a lot of things we could do in 2000. Oh, oh, it just shows them going through nostalgia now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all for Chicago. Um, I'll just set everything up, basically. Mm -hmm. Next step is just... Yeah, um, all ready to go. But get the money and everything, man. I think, I think this is a good place to uh, end the adventure yeah. if you guys don't have anything yeah. else major to do. Uh, I say jolly good job. Everybody's going to pick up a hero point. Plus, you have an end of mission refill. You may get some more hero points out of that. Give it a go. Before I end the recording, I'm just going to go around and ask everybody if they've got anything to say to the studio audience, starting with Fiddy. What you got? Money. And Swade, what you got? Thank you for joining us, and go have an adventure of your own. Hmm. And Russell and Rad. Uh, you see, in this world, there's two kinds of people, those with contacts and those without. Yeah, this has been ATAW. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>